Hello, I'm Chuck Gold, and welcome to the Delaware Valley Original Music Showcase. Our process is simple. It's three steps. Listen, experience, and pass on local original music. So let's get started. Tonight we have a band that is truly a Delaware Valley flavor. They have one band member who is from Pennsylvania, two from Delaware, and one from Maryland. They call Newark their band headquarters and just released a new album. So let's welcome Kirby, Dave, Matt, and Kevin. They are Tree Walker.
So now you got a taste of their music. Let's find out more about the band in the interview. Why do I play music? Well, from an early age, it just always caught me. I always loved listening to music. As I grew older, I, I loved playing music. I think the best thing about music is that it's like the ultimate form of communication. What I mean by that is whether you're two years old or whether you're a hundred years old, um, music can still move you, it can still communicate to you, it can still draw up any type of emotion. Um, I'm getting a little bit up there now, but uh, I guess when I was nine years old I got the bug, you know, the, the rock and roll bug bit me. Started listening to Guns N' Roses and a few other hair metal bands that I will not mention at this point. <laughs> uh, and just, you know, really wanted a guitar for Christmas, so my mom made it happen. You know, I just spent a couple years just learning how to play the basics, and I was never really too focused on theory or anything like that. But then, you know, my uh, by the time I hit, you know, 13, 14, wanted to be in a band and uh, found some kids to play with that I went to school with. And uh, I guess you could say the rest is history. Uh, for me, it's like, a, it's like a language almost. Like it's almost as normal for me to speak as it is to play music, I think. When I was uh, growing up, my dad played in bands, you know, when I, probably before I was born. And then growing up, he would play guitar around us a lot. I grew up in a church, and I grew up with church music, being surrounded by church music. And they sang four-part harmonies and stuff. And then later, it was a, a church that had um, instruments. And so I was around it a lot. And he played in rock bands and introduced me to like the music of Neil Young and Bob Dylan and you know Steve Miller and Dire Straits and all kinds of stuff. You know, growing up, CCR, and so. I think it was normal for me, or not expected of me, to go down this path. I think uh, the reason I play music is because when I was a teenager, I saw my first like big band, you know, or like big show, and it was a festival. And I just remember thinking that like I want to make people feel the way that I feel right now. My earliest memories, actually, my mother's a music major, so she was a pianist and organ player, so my earliest memories being under the piano as a very young kid and watching up and seeing her hands playing and watching the pedals and just listening to the, the reverb and, you know, she was playing Mozart probably or something like that at the time, but it always just, I felt it. And I always wanted to play guitar and uh, in my teen years uh, I played trombone as a, a young kid and that didn't really pretty heavy to carry around, so uh, I, I got into rock and roll and guitar just stuck. I always loved the way guitar sounded. It moved me. Well, it's really an easy question. I, I, I started out as uh, a guy who helped them record. I, I was a fan before I was a member. Um, they opened up for a, another band I was with uh, about three years ago, and I was really struck by Kirby's songwriting. Um, the way the songs spoke to me and the way he told stories were, were, were quite phenomenal, and uh, there was just something there that what I hadn't heard in a lot of bands in the area, so it was really interesting to me, so I volunteered to help record them because I have a little bit of a recording hobby. And, uh, you know, personnel changed. They brought in Dave and Matt, who uh, the, the guys who played before were really good musicians, but uh, Dave and Matt just seemed to have this synergy with Kirby, and it just took it up another level. I mean, I have played in a lot of bands. I've been playing in bands for close to 25 years coming up on. Um, and for me, what makes this work so much, I think, is that we all get along. Um, we can, we're, you know, the songwriting process, I mean, Kirby mainly writes the songs, the basis of the songs, and then, you know, we kind of, 
don't want to say we piece them together as a band because sometimes the structure is there, but however, we make it sound like us as a band, I think. Um, whereas in other projects I've been in, it's, it's been more about the front man and his direction where he wants to take it. So what makes this work, I think, is the fact that Kirby is such an amazing songwriter, an amazing singer. Uh, I mean, I fell in love with his music the, the minute I heard it. Um, but he leaves it open for Matt and I and Kevin, um, you know, when he came along later, to put our own staple on it. I think out of all the drummers and bass players I've played with in any band, I feel like I connect with these guys most at this moment. And uh, I think as a songwriter, I've changed a lot, which I should, you know, everyone should develop and grow and explore different avenues. And I think the avenue that I'm exploring right now, I think these guys fit the, fit the mold best. So I think what we have is really special. We're really vibing together right now. Um, what draws me personally, at least with these guys, um, I've been playing drums for about 20 years and I feel like I'm finally getting to the point where I'm, uh, I'm kind of comfortable in my own skin with where I'm at as a musician. Uh, after 20 years, you, you know, you build up your chops, but um, it's also, I've gotten to the point where I'm willing to explore and kind of experiment and I've uh, accepted my limitations and instead of running from them and hiding them, um, I focus on them and try to get better and use that as areas where you can kind of expand. I mean, it's really cool playing with these guys because it's a, it's a wide range of sound. Although we're a rock and roll genre, we're not really, uh, we, we can play heavy and hard, we can get a lot more um, acoustic, a little more folky and everything in between. and. It uh, just allows me personally to kind of be as creative as I want to be. And it's just been a lot of fun exploring new ways to play drums, new, uh, uh, new sounds. It's just been a very creative, um, uh, like, energy burst, for lack of a better way to put it. It helps that these guys are just amazing people. They're guys that I would be genuinely great friends with, even if, uh, you know, I met them at school or out at a bar or uh, at work. Um, they're people I love spending time with, and that makes it real easy. <laughs> Ooh.
Our mission is simple. It's a three-step process. Listen, experience, and pass on local original. And when we decided to make the original move, we've, we've it's always been really strange trying to pick out names. It's like pulling teeth. But we wanted something that was close to home. And we live right on the river, right on the Susquehanna. 
Welcome to the Delaware Valley Original Music Showcase. The guy that reviewed the record said that we take old style music and make it sound current. That was, to us, that was the ultimate compliment. Oh, 